Hi girls, it's Mrs. Reagan again with one of my totally fabulous uh, screencasts. What I want to show you today is some of the really neat features that you have to use with your Adobe Reader um, and, and your textbook. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the text using the Adobe Reader. Uh, here it is on my desktop. And typically it'll open to the last thing you were looking at. So the first thing you should see is up here at the top it has your library. So if you go to the library, it shows you all the texts you have in Adobe. As you can see, I have a lot because I use this for all of my textbooks. Our textbook this semester is Promised One, Servant and Savior. And I'm clicking on that. Uh, as you can see, it opened to this particular page because I have a bookmark here from last year. But I don't want to look at this page right now. What I want to look at is chapter one. So if I want to get there, I go to my uh, chapters, which are located uh, in this little icon up in the top left-hand corner. And I'm going to click that. And now I see my table of contents. You also see all of your bookmarks. If you have bookmarks here, you can see that here I put a note that I was going to do the scripture exercise. You can see your bookmarks. I'm going to go back to the table of contents because I want to learn more about original sin. It was in my study guide and we talked about it in class, um, but I want to review a little bit. So I'm going to go to chapter 2. I know it's in chapter 2 and I'm going to search the word original sin up here in the top right hand corner. So original sin. And I'm going to click the arrows and it's going to show me where it first finds the word. As you can see it's highlighted over here. But as I'm reading here, this is just learning outcomes. That's not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go to the next highlighted section by clicking the arrow. Again, here it's not really used as a definition. That's not helping me. I'm going to click forward again. Now let's see. Here I see it in a sentence. Uh, the state of life and original holiness and justice was lost because of original sin. Well, that doesn't really help me understand the term, so I'm going to continue. I click the uh, next arrow. Here it's used again. Um, original sin and personal sin again, but not really what I'm looking for. It's being used in a different context. Now, let's see. Here it is again. The human uh, It's talking about our first exile, and it's talking about the inclination towards sin that cannot be understood apart from original sin. That's interesting, but still not quite what I'm looking for. So I'm going to continue on. Ah, now look at this. I see that highlighted here is a whole section on original sin. And as I read, it's beginning to really describe the term in detail. It says the catechism teaches that by yielding to the tempter, Adam and Eve committed a personal sin, but this affected the human nature that would, would they would transmit uh, the fallen state. And that's what original sin is. And so now that I've found the section that I'm interested in, I don't want to lose this. If I want to find this again, um, I need to highlight it. So what I'm going to do is I'm really interested in this thing, this section where it talks about human nature and it's transmitted, a uh, transmitted fallen state. That's really what original sin is. So I'm highlighting this and I've highlighted it with my mouse and now I'm right clicking with my mouse and I'm going to highlight it. Now it's highlighted here, but I want to add a note to myself about why this was important. So I'm going to right click again and I'm going to add a note to the text. And here I'm going to add something to remind myself of why this is important. So I'm going to write uh, definition of original sin. And then I'm going to, if I click back onto the page, you'll see the note kind of fades in the background so you can still read. If you um, click on it and drag it, you can move it to another area. You can minimize it by using this um, uh, option here. You click the minimize button. And so now you're thinking, oh no, where'd my note go? Well, if you click on this again um, and right click again, you can open the pop-up note. If you decide I don't want this highlight, you can delete the highlight by clicking the, um, the little widget here. You can delete the highlight. You can clear the note. Um, you can also delete the notes. So you can see this is a pretty powerful tool in the same way you would highlight a paper textbook or write notes in a paper textbook you can do this using your Adobe Reader in your electronic textbook 
So um, it's a pretty powerful tool. Uh, another way to, to um, keep track of things that are important to you is to bookmark the page. Um, you can also add a bookmark here so that uh, if you want to find this information again, you can do so. And remember, when we went to the chapters, uh, you can see your bookmarks here, and you can see your notes um, that you found important. Uh, so here's your scripture exercise, the definition of original sin. So by using this um, table of contents, you get to see all your bookmarks and your notes, and it can take you there. So if I click on that, it takes me to um, the note about original sin. Now you'll also notice if you highlight something and then right-click, it also gives you the option to copy. Please do not copy and paste things from your textbook into your OneNote or your homework because basically that's cheating. You need to read the definitions and rewrite them in your own words as best you can. Obviously some definitions are so technical that you may not be able to do so, but do your best. And if you ever have a question you feel like you can't do it, come see me and I'll help you figure it out. But if you don't write the definitions in your own words, ultimately copy and pasting will not help you memorize anything or learn anything. So if you need any more help with your textbook, please let me know.